Hello, I'm Rob Hoey for Derailed. We are here today with Keith from the mighty Yay! Flowers Woo! of Flesh and yeah. Blood. Thank you, sir. That's all right. Thank you very much for coming. So, first off, tell us how you are. I'm very well, yes. Um, you're kind of lucky to have me here at all. Because, really? Uh, we're on we're on London's trendy Caledonian Road, people. We are. Uh, where my favourite restaurant and my favourite tattoo shop are. So, you really? basically have Do you want to plug them? or? Going. Uh, tattoo shop is Divine Canvas, and the restaurant is an Ethiopian restaurant called Menelik, which I highly recommend. Ooh, That's very cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. restaurant. Tattoo yeah. restaurant. Okay, yeah. so for people out there, God forbid that they'd be saying, "Who are these flowers of flesh and blood?" What would you say to them to sum up your band in just a few easy words? I'd say, "Blimey, where have you been for the last ten years?" Right. I know that we are kind of a little bit. Uh, you know, we have periods of activity and then periods of where we just don't do anything at all because we're very lazy people, basically. We're just right. very feckless, indolent, lazy toppers, Musicians, really. Yeah. A lot of people call them. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Right. Sometimes drummers as well, yeah. Um, but yes, uh, we have been playing toilets up and down the country, mostly in London, but some, some of the places in, in the country. And um, yeah, if you haven't seen us yet, then you probably haven't been to any grotty little rock venues. Fine, that's good, yeah. that's good. Well, not enough. So tell me about your highlights of 2011 and then what's coming up for you in this 2012? 2012. The last days? Mm. Well, I have to say, um, I suspect you might ask me about this later, but uh, our <laughs> last gig in 2011 was with the, the mighty Napalm Death in the Underworld. Yeah! That, yeah. There were some, some people here tonight who were actually there as well. Which yeah! Is yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was uh, fantastic. It was the best gig that I think we all kind of agreed that was the best gig that we've ever played. Right. Um, Napalm Death were outstanding, really, really good guys as well to get on with, and uh, we had a brilliant time. So really? Great merch, got great. Uh, did, they, uh, did they impart any words of wisdom upon you? Not Stop to me, drinking our fucking no. rider or something yeah, like that. Yeah, well, they probably said that to my drummer. Really? Or you know, get out of our dressing room. You know, didn't say anything like that. <laughs> did they? Far too um, nice. But they did. Uh, the, um, Barney did actually watch our set, which was a great. Compliment. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's did um, did they play any of the new stuff of the new album? And if they, and if so, what's it like? Is it good? Most likely they did, but I was running around like a blue. Well, they did. Oh <laughs> man, there, uh, my friend Georgie's uh, assessment is that they did, and it was good. So I'll right, that, yeah. that's cool. Good yeah. stuff. Okay, so your last release, yes, War Poetry, yes. is obviously brilliant. So it's very kind of you to say so. It, it's really good. I, I suggest you go and buy it. Um, where did you record it? And who recorded it for you, more to the point? That was recorded by my dear friend and colleague, Matthew Jarman, uh, at DSI Studios, um, which is the recording studio that uh, he and I now run together. That's another nice plug for us. That's very cool. Um, yeah, it was actually recorded before we had the studio, but, you know, when it was still a nascent idea in our brains. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it took us absolutely ages to finish it and then absolutely ages to put it out. So in all honesty, it sounds great, but it sounds like we sounded about five years ago. Okay. So so, <clears throat> so is there plans then to release more stuff? Have you got absolutely. more recording in the pipeline? Or? We're actually halfway through recording the first full-length album with um, Pete Lyons from Antisect. Wow. He's going to be producing it, and I have to say it sounded fantastic. Very, very happy with how that's Even going, if so. you say so yourself? Even if I do say so myself. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah. Okay, so... Tell me your dream scenario for a lineup mm -hmm. for a gig. Who would you, who would you have on the bill? Ooh, that's a very good question. It would probably be uh, Motorhead. Obviously, I'm a huge Motorhead fan. <laughs> right. You know, tattoos, Motorhead. You know, you couldn't go better than to have those guys headlining. Uh, we were talking earlier on about Sepultura as well. Um, a Matt's fronted Sepultura, by the way. Old school Sepultura. No offence, Derek, but that's my taste. Is, right. Is seeing Max back with Sepultura would be an amazing, amazing band to play with. Uh, I'm going to go for kind of an old school 80s band who were just one of my favourite bands of all time, which is Husker Du as well. Oh, cool. Yeah, Woo. who I absolutely, uh, you know, grew up with their music, so that would be the most amazing thing. And they're the one band who will never actually reform to do it, so this is, is all in my head. I'm right. Uh, it could happen. I'm, I could make yeah. it happen. A few phone calls. Okay. You know me. If you do that, mate. Well, I'll you be, don't, but... I'll be happy. I could. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so if you had to say who was the best live band around at the moment, barring yourself, mm -hmm. then who would it be? Well, that's such a difficult question because there's so many good ones. Um, 
If you'd asked me who was the best live band a couple of years ago, I'd have been even more stuck. Right, uh, but I didn't but know. I would. I would have gone for our response unit. But they seem to be taking a little bit of a break. Uh, so Void, fantastic. Void are a great band. Void are absolutely amazing. Uh, and I'm, I'm really, really glad to see that Hello Bastards are back on the scene as well. Because I think they've always been one of my favourites. And I'm Charming really name. I'm going to play with them um, later this year. So Very cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. So... What makes your blood boil about the music industry today? That's a great question, and honestly, it's everything. It's, it's basically the fact that music, mainstream music I'm talking about here, is getting worse and worse. The quality is getting worse. The, the production is just getting so much more standard. It's getting so far away from being anything, having any kind of creativity mm. uh, involved in it at all. Uh, you know, even the so-called kind of respectable pop stars, not naming any names, uh, just the, the quality and um, the kind of creative uh, aspects of their music is just getting so much more standard and so much less interesting. Um, in my view, to be honest, like the average the average person's taste in music, uh, if, it, if their taste in art was that bad, we would all be going to galleries to look at pictures of people doing finger painting with their own shit. <laughs> That's pretty much how I see it. Are you it, just so. bitter because you didn't get into uh, the Bruno Mars auditions? That's probably what yeah, it is, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm with you, I'm with yeah. you. I think it's just, I think we're living in a terrible yeah. time for music. Yeah. In the 70s, you could look like Tom Jones yeah. and have a music career. Yeah. These days, unless you look like Justin Bieber, yeah. You're still nothing's happening. Terrible. Which is crazy because yeah. there are middle-aged women who are just wet through thinking about Justin Bieber. And that, to yeah. me, is just mad. Like, That's it's a really wrong. weird... It's odd, isn't it? Have you seen that website, uh, Lesbians Who Look Like Justin Bieber? No. Yeah, well, I recommend you check it out. But I'm going those, to. Those, uh, those middle-aged ladies, they've got some serious therapy bills coming. That's just, just me. crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, I would just say, sorry, before we go on, that uh, what is really, really great, however, is that the underground scene uh, is as strong as ever, and I think that... You know, there are some absolutely amazing bands out there and people needn't give up. Just don't go and buy the crap that's on the radio. Go to your local, you know, dingy rock sort of venue and go and uh, see a, a real band and game and really creative and go, go not and constricted see, by commercial. Go and see Flowers of Flesh and Blood, no less. Or many of the yeah. other great bands that we play with as well. So modest. Yeah. He's so modest. Woo!